What's up, everybody? I'm out here today with my friend Jordan Rodriguez of Tight Lines 208, and we're doing a fishing class. Yeah, he hosted a sturgeon fishing class out here at this pond in Parma. It's gonna be pretty exciting. People already land sturgeon, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, so today is day two of our sturgeon seminar class offered through Tight Lines 208. So last night we had a classroom session where we talked about uh, sturgeon behavior, sturgeon diet, where to fish for sturgeon, how to fish for sturgeon, how to do it all safely and legally. And tonight we're here at the Schwartz Ranch in Parma, which is a private lake that has lots of sturgeon in it. And so our students are getting a chance to apply what they learned last night to a live setting where they're gonna get a chance to hook and fight and handle the sturgeon. So uh, for most of these folks, it's gonna be probably the biggest fish that they've ever caught in their life, uh, which is always a cool experience. And uh, I'm excited to see what happens. So we're out here at Schwartz Sturgeon Pond and we're actually going to talk to Jim Schwartz himself, see how he started the pond and how he got everything going and why he has like 300 sturgeon in a pond on his ranch. When I first started I only got just a few sturgeon to find out if they would survive and if things would work out. And so the first year we really didn't have much in here. Um, I just put in about 75 little guys, only about 10 to 12 inches long, and three about four feet long, and that's all I had in here for the first year. And then, uh, since it seemed to work, by the next year I added a, a lot more, and I've been adding sturgeon by the hundreds every year since. And it's completely open to the public, they come and just pay, pay to access and fish your fun? Yeah, they, they do have to, it's, it's open to the public, but they have to call and schedule. Most people are, are really pleased. We get a kick out of watching all the smiles. The pond record for the most sturgeon caught by one guy in one day out of my pond is 171. Dang, that is crazy. He he was busy. And that, that record is held by River Jim Larson. He told me last year that this year he was going to push the record to over 200, but he hasn't done it yet. But have you, have you been a career-long fisherman? You've always loved to fish in well, particular? Technically, technically, I gave up fishing over 50 years ago. And I haven't gone fishing since. I, I learned young that uh, going fishing was for beginners, and from then on, I just went catching. <laughs> All right, it's enough time to take a video and photos of other people. I'm gonna catch a sturgeon. Yeah, baby, got my first sturgeon. Kind of cheating since it was in a pond stock full of sturgeon, not like on a river. Catching a sturgeon, but I'll take it for sturgeon. No video footage of it, but here's a photo. That's right, that's right. I was fishing today. Oh man, we had a good day. Uh, we had about 15 people fishing and uh, easily I'd say we brought in over 100, 100 fish today, 100 sturgeon. A couple big ones over six feet long. Uh, most of the people here tonight caught the biggest fish they've ever caught. So uh, very appreciative of Jim for letting us come out and uh, having the class experience this. It's, it's a pretty cool deal. Caught four to search today. Definitely the biggest fish I've ever caught. I would highly recommend taking one of Jordan's classes, Tight Lines 208 or 208 Tight Lines. Either way, I'll put a link to his website in the bottom. You will catch fish. I love going fishing with him. He's my friend and he hooks me up every time with catching big ones. I've caught my biggest smallmouth bass with him, caught my biggest sturgeon with him, caught my biggest trout with him. Bottom line is, Jordan knows how to fish. Thanks for coming out. It was a lot of fun, a lot of cool action with some ginormous fish, seven foot long fish. And see you in the next one. <laughs>